Hi guys, guess what? We now have more information about the Tamagotchi Connection re-release that we are going to be getting this summer. Let's discuss. So last time we spoke, I told you guys that I would let you know if there was any more information about the Tamagotchi Connection re-releases coming out soon. And yeah, we got some really interesting information this week, so I'm gonna break it all down for you. Before we get into anything though, I would first like to shout out Tama Palace, who is amazing. And if you are not already following them, why aren't you? Uh, you should be. They are an amazing Tamagotchi news outlet and they've been around for a very long time. They have a Tumblr blog, an Instagram, and a Twitter X, whatever you want to call it. Uh, definitely go check out their stuff because they're half the reason why we are even able to make this video today. Okay, so first of all, we now have an official confirmation from Bandai that we are not going to be able to connect the new Tamagotchi Connection re-release with the Tamagotchi version 3 or Tamagotchi Keitai. They are not going to be compatible, you guys. I know a lot of people were wondering if we were going to be able to connect these two together, and the answer is no. Uh, and I think the reason given was that the programming for the Tamagotchi Connection re-release is like an all new thing, so we're just going to be starting fresh. Next thing that we're going to discuss is this. This was a very surprisingly controversial thing that we found out this week. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, that is fine. I'm going to explain. So if you grew up playing with the Tamagotchi Keitai, you are probably used to this sprite right here. And if you grew up playing the Tamagotchi Connection version 3, you are probably used to seeing that Mamechi sprite. The sprite on the left is the more traditional Mamechi sprite that was used originally with the Tamagotchi original devices. And the one over here was the updated Mamechi sprite that we got around 2006. Well, the Tamagotchi Connection re-release is going to be using the updated Mamechi sprite, which is the version three sprite. And some people in the community we're a little bit bummed about that because, you know, the sprite is very cute and that's totally understandable. Personally, it doesn't bother me because I grew up in New York City and so I had the Tamagotchi version 3 with the updated Mamechi sprite, so it's gonna seem nostalgic to me just as it was, but I definitely understand that there were some people that are not used to that. Another thing I wanted to talk about, because it was very interesting, uh, was that on Japanese Twitter, this past week, I have seen a lot of people talking about the uh, global Tamagotchi Connection re-release shells. So what I mean by this is that a lot of people from Japan who are not getting the global release shells, they're getting the Japan only shells, were talking about how much they loved the global release shells. Meanwhile, outside of Japan, people have been loving the Japanese shells. Pretty much it is a grass is always greener situation where if you are in Japan, you are longing for those global shells. And if you are outside of Japan, you're longing for those Japan shells. I don't know. I just feel like it's worth mentioning because it was really interesting to me. So in my last video about this, you may remember that there was a contest going on in Japan where Japanese people were asked online to tell Tamagotchi which one of the Keitai designs that they wanted remade for the connections. Well, we now have an update as to which designs are the most popular. So far, the strawberry milk design is the most popular, which is very interesting because I actually just so happen to have the original one. So this is the Keitai from 2005, 2006-ish, and this was the original strawberry milk design that uh, is currently winning in the poll. So there is a chance that we are going to see a re-release of this very design in the future. So this is super cool. We now also have confirmation that we are going to get a blend of the Tamagotchi version 3 and Keitai way of getting items from the shop. On the Tamagotchi Connection version 3, you used to be able to go to a shop in order to get your items, and on the Keitai, you would have a salesperson come to your house twice a day in order to get items. Well, on the Connection re-release, we are going to have both of these things happen together. And I love that. Another massively important thing happened this week, and thanks to Tama Palace once again, we're gonna talk about it. So if you didn't already know, this week there was a special licensing expo that happened in Las Vegas, and as you can see, Tamagotchi was there. 
The Licensing Expo is basically a place where different brands can come together and meet each other and collaborate about future licensing opportunities, so making new products and things like that. And before we go into what happened at this Licensing Expo, I would like to just give you my two cents. If you've been following my content for a minute, you probably know that I do have experience going to these kinds of toy events, some of which have actually had Tamagotchi there. So I do have a little bit of experience with these sorts of events, and I thought I would just explain to you a little bit of context before I show you what I'm about to show you. Okay, so typically when you go to these kinds of events, it is very important that you ask uh, each booth or brand whether you are allowed to get footage of the products that are shown on display there because sometimes they're not exactly ready for the public to see which that is typical and as a result we received photos of the Tamagotchi connection re-releases as well as the Sanrio characters Tamagotchi Uni from this licensing expo so I do not know where these photos came from I just know that they were posted online and I know that I don't usually post anything that has not been officially posted by Bandai. So this is a little bit out of the ordinary for me, but I feel like you guys really do need to see these. That being said, just keep in mind that this is from a licensing expo, so the products I'm going to show you are not necessarily the final versions, they're just what was brought to this event. Here we see the Tamagotchi Connection re-releases, as well as some new Tamagotchi original shells. Here is the same image from a little bit farther away. Here you see the Sanrio Tamagotchi Uni, as well as some Nanos. And here is our very first look of the Tamagotchi Connection re-releases in person. Like, come on guys, they look so good. Here is the rainbow shell with the brand new backplate of a rainbow. Here is the retro design. I love this one in person. I actually like it more in person than I did in the product photos. I just think it looks so cool. Here is the Bubbles version. That is a remake of an older design from the early 2000s and it's in packaging. And here is the ice cream design. Now I gotta talk to you about this. I actually used to have this exact design back when it was a Tamagotchi version 3 in the early 2000s as a child. And I would like to talk about something that I have not seen anybody else discuss yet about this shell design. So what you're looking at right now is the original website for the Tamagotchi Connection version 3 from 2006. And as you can see, this was the very beginning of the Tamagotchi Connection version 3. Tell me if you see our Connection re-release shell anywhere on this page. Okay, so. The ice cream shell design was part of the very first release of Tamagotchi Connection version 3s. It was one of the first shells that ever came out for the Tamagotchi Connection V3. And now we're getting it again in the Tamagotchi Connection re-release. And I believe, this is my headcanon, I have a feeling the reason why they went for that specific design was because it's kind of a callback to the V3. First it was released as the original V3, and now it's being re-released again all these years later as the re-release. And I know that we're getting a few of the Keitai shells remade for this re-release as well. I'm very curious to know if any of those are from that original release. I actually don't know the answer. I'm very curious to know though, so if anyone wants to do some internet sleuthing, please tag me. And that's it. That's everything we know right now. So thank you for watching and let me know if you find out any other information and I will let you guys know if I find any other information. Bye!